Hello everyone, I'm Ruan and welcome to this week's update, which is now week six of learning computer science in two years. So this week was a bit of a doozy, right? It didn't go as well as I hope. And uh, well, that's just kind of how it goes. So let's jump into our timesheet and see actually what happened. So first of all, you'll see that for Monday to Friday, I was only able to do 17 hours. And then on the weekend, I actually did nothing. It was a bit of a rough week from on, on the work front, which means I kind of got behind during the week. And then finally, on the weekend, I had to work. So I worked the entire weekend up to like three o'clock on Sunday afternoon. And at that point, I was kind of tired and I just decided to, you know what? Just leave it for this weekend. Um, it was basically over and I will try again next weekend. Get get to rest a little bit and recharge for the coming week. That happened. It's life. I'm not going to get too bummed out about it. It's bound to happen. It's probably going to happen again. Let's just see how we can progress from here. And let's see how we can make the next week better than this week. Let's get into the actual feedback then. How did it go? First of all, programming languages. I completed that uh, part A. I took the final exam. I passed it first time. So technically, I could say that I'm complete. I also did all the assignments, obviously, up to this point, And I did submit everything and it's done. However, for programming languages part A, and I think actually throughout the whole programming languages series of courses, you do something called peer reviews, right? So you submit your solution to the homework problem set and people will review it. And then what you do is you actually have to go and review four other homework sets from, you know, just random other students that are taking the course. Once you've reviewed all four of them, then your marks actually get released and you get feedback from four or a couple of other students, maybe not four, but a few, right? Three, two, how, however many actually reviewed your work. So I'm not completely done. I still have to do that. I didn't actually do all of that. I think I went back and I did the first week again, but I still need to do, or the first assignment, I still need to do uh, two and three. I'll go maybe in this week and I'll go and do those um, just to get part A completely, completely done. I must say it's kind of interesting. Um, it is worth it to do the self or the, the peer review, because you get to look at other people's code. So you already know what the solution is, right? You've done it yourself. You've seen the sample solution from the lecturer. So you have a good idea what it could have been, right? What a good solution looks like and what your solution looks like. What this does is it kind of trains your capability to read other people's code and understand the code, interpret the code. One of the key takeaways I have from this, like I said, I already did some of the review, is that style and comments are an absolute lifesaver. Some of the people who I've reviewed, you know, they, they have very good style. It's really easy to read. They don't just use single letter variables, you know, like A, B, and C. They give it a little name so you understand what the variable represents. They also put comments and things like this, and it makes it a hundred thousand times better to read, to evaluate what's going on, and to even just to know whether or not the code is going to do what it is supposed to. And then some other people don't do any of that, and you kind of, you, you want the struggle bus, right? You can't really tell what it's supposed to do, and you have to really focus to understand what it's supposed to do at the end. So that is a takeaway that I'm probably gonna start implementing more into my own code and my own solutions. Well, not just the solutions with problem sets, but just in general. Because I know that, you know, if you write a piece of code today with poor style, no comments, you leave it there, you go do something else, you come back in a week, you have no idea what you did, or maybe a month, maybe a year, you know, sometimes you write programs or applications or pieces of code that you have to maintain, maybe over the course of a year. And it's crucial <laughs> in those situations to be able to go back and actually understand what the hell you wrote. Lesson learned. I'm definitely going to start implementing more of the good style and, you know, comments and other type of things to just to make it easier for future me to understand what was going on in present me's head. 
Okay, from there I went to program languages part B. Now part B starts with a new programming language, but for us it's not new, it's Racket, right? We've already done how to code simple and complex data using Racket. So part B, the first half, or not the first half, the first section went smoothly. I was actually able to completely finish the first section and submit the homework problems all in this week. And I only had like five and a half hours um, of time allocated to part B. So uh, so that went actually pretty good. I am I have a feeling that from here it's going to be a little bit more uphill because the first part was a little bit of the basics of just understanding rackets again. Not a lot at all. Like he spent, I think, in terms of lecture time, it was like 15 minutes and uh, then we were basically going full speed from there. So it's not a lot of time, but it is still a bit of getting used to racket. And then uh, we got into the more, you know, complex coding principles, etc. And I have a feeling that the next section is just going to go straight into the very difficult stuff. I look forward to that. Okay, the other thing I did in terms of coding was my project. So like I mentioned last week, I wanted to start doing my project and allocating or using some of the allocated time I have available for my studies to progress with that project, right? So I started to do that. I only managed to do five hours this week, unfortunately. Not maybe, I did say eight. I only got to five. It's it's fine. It's fine, and <laughs> this wasn't a great week, but unfortunately I couldn't really progress that much, right? So it turns out, like I mentioned, having seven or how many ever languages that all need to mesh together, ah, it's kind of a nightmare. So I did a lot of just studying in terms of how does the syntax work and things like that, right? Because I had to brush up on how Jinja works. Um, I haven't coded in Python for a while, it turns out. Uh, even though that that was pretty straightforward. Uh, JavaScript is a little bit of a nightmare for me right now. I won't lie, I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible, but I kind of need to use it. Oh, and then just fooling around with HTML and CSS, trying to get a table to appear on the screen or on the web page that I'm loading was, uh, uh, yeah, was a fun experience. <laughs> so I might be getting a usable website, but it's not going to be pretty at all. Hopefully... As I do more of this, I'm going to get more familiar with it and I might start to actually become more creative and maybe be able to make something that not only works, but looks halfway decent as well. But for now, uh, yeah, I spent way too much time just fiddling with spacing and margins and padding and all kinds of nonsense just to get a table to look sort of, you know, nice. I do think I want to spend more time on the project. So I mean, more than the eight hours that I said last week, I'm going to allocate uh, just because it turns out that this project might actually be very useful for my, my family. So I'm going to emphasize it a little bit more and hopefully have a completed product or application as soon as possible. And then uh, calculus. Okay, so that's the last one that I need to give feedback on. Nothing happened. Feedback over next week. <laughs> we'll see what happens next week, but uh, it should be better. It should be better. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for your support. There's a cat. You see the cat. Anyway, thank you so much for your support. Keep it up. Keep leaving comments. Watch the videos. Like the videos. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, good luck on your computer science journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.